Hi, welcome back to Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit. In this video I'm going to show you a few little tips and things you can do to maybe get your self-drive working again if it stops on your petrol lawnmower. This is a Mountfield SP470 petrol lawnmower from 2005 but they all work in a similar way. I'm going to show you underneath here you can see you've got this actual transmission box. I'm going to show you a few little things you can look for if your self-drive isn't working. Um, one thing that's not to do with specifically with the box as, as well so that'll be near at the end of the video. It'll only be a short video. I'm going to show you how it works first of all and a few things you can look for if your self-drive isn't working on your petrol lawnmower. So I'm actually going to do some close-ups of this in a minute but I just wanted to give you a, a general idea of what I'm talking about. This is your transmission box here and these are the driven wheels here. The top one doesn't actually have the drive cog on it but the bottom one does, I think that's right, but anyway, whichever way around it is, I'm going to show you what I mean. Behind here, I've taken the belt off this, I'll just show you this, this is the reason why lawnmower decks rot, by the way. If you've got a really expensive lawnmower, you don't take the time to clean that off at least once a year, you're wasting your money really, because this is going to rot in no time, no matter what you've bought, unless it's plastic of course. But anyway, these all work in a similar way, they all have a, a pulley on the back here, which I'll film a bit closer up in a minute. But basically the spin, there's normally the drive belt that runs around here to the blade and when the normal is just running over as it normally does this all just spins, the pulley spins, the actual belt goes round and everything but obviously the wheels don't drive until you want them to now you can see at the bottom there that this wheel doesn't drive but there's actually something in here it's like a little lever, if you press it forward and actually turn it you'll probably see just at the bottom there actually see the wheel start to turn and you can see once it's engaged that wheel turns and once I let go of it again and spin it doesn't turn that's the basic way that these actual transmission boxes work there's a spring tensioner on the back but they're all slightly different some of them connect up here some of them connect on the back and you can adjust them if they're not working and things like that and really the problem with a lot of these is they have plastic components inside them and they have a metal gear sometimes running against a, a plastic worm gear and the plastic worm gear unfortunately after a lot of years doesn't last very long and it'll run out of life. So I'm going to show you in here and show you a few things you can check, a few simple things you can actually have a go at yourself just to determine whether your actual transmission box is packed in or whether something else is actually broken on the self drive of your lawnmower. So these transmission boxes you can probably see if I press this they're kind of on a spring so it bounces about and that's exactly what it's supposed to do. The spring setups of these are always slightly different this one's tensioned here sometimes they get tensioned up to the top here and it's a fiddly and faffy job to do it take all the wheels off, you have to take all the pins out, all the circlips and everything, change the box, pull the shaft out and in all honesty on a lawnmower like this there's not many people that do that sort of thing but a lot of the times I see these lawnmowers, I go and pick these up to repair for profit which is what I do on the channel, I see a lot of dirt and debris in here and it stops this little lever here moving so when you pull the handle at the top here this activates your self drive, it's either this one or the other side it pulls the cable and what that does is it actually moves this across like this and a lot of the time you can probably just see how much grass is under there I see sort of sticks and debris and old grass and it stops this lever from moving across and of course this is what activates the gears this is pushing the gears together inside this transmission box so if it doesn't move across properly what will happen is it won't engage and you won't get your self drive working so there's the pulley I'm talking about you can probably just about see that spinning in there when I'm doing that, because the lever's in that position, the wheel doesn't move. If I get my thumb on that lever and replicate what the cable does and then spin this, you can actually see this wheel moves as well. And yeah, they do both move, they're both driven. So once I let go of that there and spin it, you get the point that the wheels don't move. So you must make sure on your lawnmower that this is free of debris. Sometimes there's a box on the back of here. You can get off, this one had one on, I've just taken it off, it basically just pulls off the back. This is a, a spring adjuster, this won't make it go any faster if it is working, it just makes sure there's enough spring tension to actually activate it. So that won't really do anything to help you with the speed, but you can try tightening that up a little bit, putting a little bit more spring tension on here. But the thing you need to check is you've actually got your cable still connected on here. So I've actually seen these snap and come off, that's still connected over there, you can see there actually hooks over there if you want to get that off you can just pull that out of there 
and sometimes the other connector the other spring goes from this and back up this way on this lawnmower it's slightly different this is tensioned here to the back and there's not really a definitive video of how to replace these because all the tension is sent, tend to be slightly different on these mowers so I think what I'll do next is I'll remove this cover off here and I'll show you what's in this transmission box and exactly what goes wrong but the other thing you can do this on here I should really unfold a lot more to show you this. This is actually uh, your cable. Let's just pull that. Let's see if that works. Okay, let's see if we can get to that. There's one there, and there's one on the other side. I want to see if we can get to the handle to pull it for you to show you what I mean. Yeah, you can see if I pull the handle there, just activates there, activates the actual self drive there, and then let's go over again. So you can tell that's working okay, and that's the main thing you want to check. But the other thing, which is on the cable as well, depending on what lawnmower you've got. Make sure that this cable, whichever one the drive cable is, isn't too slack. And if you can adjust this slightly, move it down the handle or up the handle, whichever way you need to do it, make sure that it's tight enough so it's actually pulling the cable far enough. Because if it doesn't pull it far enough, it doesn't activate this lever and move it across enough, your self-drive won't work. So don't presume that the box has gone before you've actually made sure these actual levers move across and the cable's not slack. So I know a lot of people are really interested, they always want to look inside these and see what's in it and how it works and everything. So I'm going to save you the trouble of actually turning your lawnmower over. Because if you tip a lawnmower up like this with a petrol engine in and oiling without taking the engine off, you're just going to flood the engine, it's going to be oil and petrol everywhere you don't want it to be. You're going to cause yourself further problems. So I'm going to save you the trouble of actually doing this with your mower and I'm going to take this off and show you inside it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, it's Repair Lawnmowers for Profit. They have a website as well which is repairlawnmowersforprofit.com Sell loads of parts on there, my own parts store. I think there's about 40 articles on there on repairing these lawnmowers for profit as well. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that. It's free. If you take the actual bell notification, you'll get an update via your email um, when I release a new video. So, I'll take these off and we'll have a look in here. Some of these have got metal or aluminium parts all the way through them. And some of these are just kind of plastic and the ones that tend to break the most if I'm honest are the aluminium ones with the, the plastic worm gear and this one works okay even though it's kind of 15 years old now so I'll fast forward this bit and I'll just take these screws out of here so I'm just going to unscrew this last one out of here I think it's just about out take that one out of there so that's all of them out and what you'll need to do with this you need to kind of prise this apart here which is a bit of a fiddly job which is why I'm going to show you what's inside it basically it splits in two here and you can have a look inside it you might want to use a bit of gasket sealant to put it back in and put a bit of transmission oil back in the box as well if you are going to do this so there's no real easy way to get in these and I'll just get a knife take it down the edge and see if taking all these screws out and then eventually you can kind of just prise this off it's not a nice job to do and you can probably see got all this transmission oil dropping down what you can see in here is I've actually got this part here which I believe is usually plastic that doesn't look like plastic that looks like aluminium and that looks like aluminium as well but you can see what I mean when the actual drive is disengaged the wheels just spin and if you get hold of the actual handle pull this what you'll find is you see how they connect together, the actual worm gear connects together and hopefully at the top you can see the wheel moving, that's because I've got a hold around here, I've got hold of the actual handle you'd operate when you had the lawnmower set up so if I let go of that and do that wheel you can see although these two actually mesh together this lever here doesn't go across so when you activate this, when you pull this you can see this part move here which is part of that, it moves across when it knocks across everything links together you can see there when I let go with my left hand now like that you can see the wheel stop turning so you get the idea and that's really what you need to check not ideal taking all that off that's a bit of a pain I wanted to show you inside here and just show you what there is you can see here there's this worm gear and this other gear here that it sits against but this part here needs to move across and on a lot of these cheaper ones what you have here 
is you have a plastic, either a plastic part here or a plastic worm gear in here. So I'll bring my camera around here and I'll show you inside here a little bit better. You can see there this worm gear here. You can see how the wheels turn like that. But if you get your hand behind here, if I can turn this pulley from there, you can see how it all sinks together like this and turns. And this part actually knocks across. That's what this lever does at the top, it moves across. When that moves across, this lifts up and it connects, it engages everything together. So, what a lot of the time I see is these are just so worn out, they've either got teeth missing or they're so flat that this actual worm gear doesn't connect to it. So you don't really want to have to do this if you can help it really, but this is a 15 year old lawnmower. I still, I still can't tell, I think that's an aluminium part. It hadn't worn away at all. Normally these have got like a great big indentation across the centre of here. In the top right hand corner of your screen now I'll show you uh, another video that I've done of this actual self drive as well. So if you want to go over there you'll be able to see that in the top right hand corner of your screen now. And there's also a link to the other videos on self drive actually in the description of this YouTube video as well. So hopefully you can see how it works when the pulley turns at the top. You can see I'm just turning this at the top, the black wheel. The whole thing goes like that. I'm reaching too easy, I'm pulling this, I'm going to pull that, see this part moves up and down, and that's what connects the gears together, and that's why it's essential that this part at the top, when I showed you at the beginning, is moving about, and that's really how the uh, all the transmission works, on most of these, uh, just what I would call a standard lawnmower you'd buy just for any sort of size garden, up to the size of a tennis court really, that's all you get in them, unfortunately a lot of the newer ones, have plastic parts in that's why they wear out but luckily for me this one is uh, still going strong and hopefully you get a good, better understanding now of exactly how these self drives work so I just want to show you this cable before we go as well this is a, so it's a mount field mower this this actually has got a, an adjuster on the cable as you can see here they're all slightly different sometimes they're like that sometimes you've got this adjuster like this this type here but this is like this you can see when you pull this here you can probably just see in here how it activates everything that moves that lever across that's what I was showing you before so if you didn't have enough adjustment on this cable you could perhaps maybe just adjust this a little bit more and it might just give you enough to move this cable far enough if it doesn't move far enough you will activate that little thing I showed you that slides across inside there and the worm gear won't touch against the other gear so make sure one last final thing to check is that your cable's actually doing what it's supposed to do. So if you can see in there, remove this box from the back here, like this first of all, maybe that's a good place to start, but a lot of the time there's a lot of grass buildup that stops that moving across. So you can see all the little things. This is my own lawnmower, I've had it about 15 years, and the first time it stopped for me, I had it about a year with no self-drive, until I actually noticed one day there was this adjuster on the cable, and it's worked perfectly ever since. So if this has been your first visit to my actual YouTube channel here at Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit, please subscribe, tick the bell notification, take a look at the website repairlawnmowersforprofit.com. You'll find there's articles galore on there to do with self-drives, diaphragm and gaskets, springs and everything you might need at the parts store as well. Thanks for watching, smash the subscribe button for me and most of all, leave me a comment in the comments section if I've helped you out, that really uh, pleases me when I read those as well. See you next time.